Welcome back. Well, I know on the calendar it says we're past the middle of September and, and a lot of times by this point we sort of knocked out that summer humidity. We may still have some summer temperatures, but the humidity is gone. That's not the case this year. That humidity crept back into our area late last week. It's been with us through the weekend and now we're actually seeing a few isolated showers pop up in the afternoon and evening heat and humidity and right now a few of those still ongoing across parts of uh, southeastern Texas County getting into west central Shannon County. These should uh, wind down a Although they have been very persistent over the last uh, hour or so, a couple hours actually, as they've tracked off to the southeast. Temperatures today got close to 90 in most backyards and hit 90 in a lot of uh, yards out there. 91 in Joplin this afternoon. Had a weather watcher from Goodson, Missouri report 93 degrees. 89 here in Springfield, 90 down to our south in Branson, 91 in Harrison. You can see 92 in Mount Home, one of the hotter readings on the map. And we've been sampling some late summer heat since late last week. 89 back on Friday, 87 Saturday, 89 yesterday and 89 today in Springfield. And I think we will see 90s the next several days, at least temperatures around 90 for the high. Uh, looking at all the temperatures, our, our numbers so far for the month, even with that bout of really kind of cool weather with, that came with the rain uh, after Gordon's remnants went through the area, uh, temperatures are running about three degrees above normal. And it uh, looks like we're going to see that trend of uh, above normal temperatures through this week. And then as we get into this upcoming weekend, it looks like rain will help to push back those readings once again. As far as Florence is concerned, it's still uh, um, in the news, generating rain across parts of the northeastern U.S., but it looks like we're in the final stages of this storm. Still a lingering threat for a few showers and thunderstorms in parts of the Carolinas that have been so hard hit with rainfall. Areas around Wilmington, North Carolina have seen between two and three feet of rain. And we've seen some heavy rain back toward the Appalachians as well. Florence's remnants finally moving out of the northeastern U.S. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. For us, we're going to find a building ridge of high pressure moving across the area over the next several days. That's going to keep things hot and pretty quiet. Despite the humidity, uh, I only expect a few isolated showers each and every afternoon through the next several afternoons. Now, by the end of the week, we are going to have a cold front approaching from the northwest. And as it samples some Pacific storminess, uh, maybe of a tropical flavor, uh, looks like we could see or will see our rain chances ramping up starting Friday, and that will continue into the weekend. Hour by hour forecast overnight tonight, starry skies, uh, quiet weather otherwise. Uh, looking at tomorrow's weather, we'll find it uh, looks like skies becoming partly cloudy with some isolated afternoon shower activity across the area. Temperatures tonight dropping to about 69 in Springfield with a high up around 90 tomorrow afternoon. Winds out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And watch for heat index values tomorrow afternoon to top out in the mid 90s. So yes, it is going to feel like summertime out there again tomorrow. A 7 on our color radar. Looking ahead to the weekend, this is when we see our next round of widespread rain develop. Starting Friday as a front settles into the area and then on Saturday as a storm ripples along that front, uh, looks like we should see widespread rain and thunderstorm activity on Saturday. Looks like it'll be focused around Saturday and rainfall totals at this early stage look like they'll be fairly healthy. Uh, we could be looking at maybe a solid one to three inches of rainfall across the Ozarks uh, through this upcoming weekend. Temperatures will also be a lot cooler as well with a high of 75 come Saturday and it looks like 70s on Sunday before rebounding early next week. And by the way, on Saturday, fall officially arrives at 854 in the morning. Okay, and it looks like the season is just welcoming itself in with that cool mm -hmm. air. Weather. All right, what's our viewers club number? Uh, that number tonight is 245021 and our jackpot's up to $700. Jamie, thanks on the way. Our Francis Lynn will join us in our